Hey what's going on everyone, in this video we'll be talking about the release of Mi 10 Ultra and Redmi K30 Ultra in India. If these two phones will be launched in India or not, many of you are eagerly waiting for this launch to happen. So a lot to know, a lot to discuss. My name is Sovik, welcome to Phone Politics. let's get started. Mi 10 Ultra and Redmi K30 Ultra may not be launched in India or any other market outside of mainland China. As an online report claims that the phones are exclusive to Xiaomi's home market. The flagship handset Mi 10 Ultra as well as the affordable Redmi K30 Ultra were launched on Tuesday in China. The launch was done by Xiaomi's virtual event marking its 10th anniversary. While the Mi 10 Ultra offers an impressive 120W fast charging, the Redmi K30 Ultra comes with an AMOLED screen with 120Hz refresh rate. In a report, GSM Arena cited a Xiaomi representative who said that the Mi 10 Ultra and the Redmi K30 Ultra are exclusive to China and are unlikely to go global. In India, the company is only selling the Mi 10 from the entire Mi 10 lineup. Now let's talk about the Mi 10 Ultra specifications. Mi 10 Ultra was launched yesterday with a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. Under the hood, it has a octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor that is paired with up to 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM. It features up to 520GB of UFS 3.1 onboard storage. The phone runs on MIUI 12 based on Android 10. For photography, the Mi 10 Ultra comes with a quad rear camera setup that consists of a 48MP main sensor, a 20MP ultra wide shooter, a 12 megapixel portrait snapper and a telephoto lens that supports 120x ultra zoom. At the front, the phone has a 20 megapixel selfie shooter. The device comes with a 4500 mAh battery that supports 120W fast charging that is claimed to be fully charged the phone in 23 minutes. Now let's talk about the specifications of Redmi K30 Ultra. The Redmi K30 Ultra debuted alongside the Mi 10 Ultra with a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. It is powered by the 7nm MediaTek Dimensity 1000 Plus mobile platform that is paired with 8GB of RAM. There is also up to 512GB of storage on the device. The phone comes with a quad rear camera setup that houses a 64 megapixel camera, a 5 megapixel macro camera, a 13 megapixel wide angle snapper and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the front, there is a 20 megapixel pop-up camera. The phone comes with a 4500 mAh battery with 33W fast charging. So that is all for today's video, I hope you like this video, if you do then a like will be appreciated. Let me know your thoughts about these two phones in the comment section below and please support us by subscribing to Phone Politics. Also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, the links are in the description. See you guys in the next video, peace out.